Mom watches her family swim in ocean before realizing something is wrong. No matter how tight your itinerary, something always goes wrong on a family vacation. Trains run late, must-try restaurants are closed, or, in the case of one family, disaster strikes on a sunny Florida beach. While the day started beautifully, one dive off a dock sent the family into a frenzy, and only a nine-year-old boy could save the day. Audrey and Josh Williams were still a bit new to Florida, their family of six having previously lived in Georgia. Once they moved and were settled in, they wanted to take advantage of Sunshine State's beach scene, which landed them in a lot of trouble. So in the summer of 2020, Audrey and Josh brought their children to Quiet Water Beach in Pensacola Beach for a fun, relaxing time in the sun. The day was winding down and coming to an end when Josh and his son Asaya decided to take one more dive into the ocean. While Audrey took care of their younger children, Josh took nine-year-old Isaiah out for one last dive off the boat docks in the Santa Rosa Sound. Even as newcomers to the state, they knew this was one of the safest aquatic places to be. See, sounds are bodies of water that are not directly connected to the ocean. Because of this, dangerous waves aren't possible, and the waters are more predictable and calm. They do tend to be very shallow, however, making diving a bit of a risk. So Josh and Isaiah went for one last dive off the docks, with Audrey watching the heartwarming scene of her husband and son taking one more dive together against the backdrop of a beautiful Florida sunset. She didn't know that one move would turn the beauty into horror. Ready to get into the water, Josh and Isaiah decided at the last minute to shuffle their way a little further down the docks for their final dive. There would be more space to swim around freely at the end. Together, father and son dove right into the emerald waters. Isaiah had the time of his life, though his landing was a bit rough as he hit the beach ground a little hard. Aching but fine, he swam to the water's surface and noticed he was all alone. Meanwhile, on the shore, Audrey watched Isaiah pop out of the water. Both mother and son had a sinking feeling that something was wrong. Josh hadn't emerged. Isaiah tried to remain calm, keeping in mind a special rule he'd made up for such a predicament. Even with no formal lifeguard or even swimming training, Isaiah paid close attention to whomever he was diving with. He determined that if his diving partner was underwater for too long, he'd go after them. Seconds ticked away, Josh never emerged. So Isaiah dove down only to find his father face down, not moving and slowly floating to the surface like a rag doll. With a hundred pound difference in weight, Isaiah did what he had to do to rescue his dad. Using great strength, Isaiah flipped his father's body over to prevent him from drowning. Horrifically, Josh was unable to move but fully conscious. He could only watch as his son struggled to save his life. When the duo reached the surface, Josh told Isaiah that his neck was broken, and he confessed to his young son that he was scared. Of course, Isaiah was also terrified, but he knew he could not let fear stop him from what he had to do next. Channeling what was left of his strength, he struggled to tug his father to shore. Some nearby beachgoers rushed in to help the boy bring his father the rest of the way. Josh was finally out of the water, but the rescue mission was not over. An ambulance was called to bring Josh in for emergency care. He was swiftly taken to Baptist Hospital, where doctors managed the initial trauma. After that, he was moved to Ascension Sacred Heart Hospital, where doctors gave him a diagnosis. Josh may not have been a doctor, but he was right about his broken neck. The severe neck injury required him to undergo C1-C3 fusion surgery. This terrible news was given amidst the coronavirus pandemic. The Williams family had hoped to enjoy a family outing in spite of the fears and dangers of the coronavirus spread. They did not expect a broken neck, but they were very lucky to have the terrific doctors and nurses to take care of Josh. Still, the father had a long road ahead of him. A few days later, Josh underwent the C1-C3 fusion surgery. The whole family was so eager to see him recovered and walking again. The procedure was a success, but it would be some time until Josh would walk on his own. Isaiah was also recovering from his own injuries. Though not nearly as devastating, Isaiah began to feel pain in his right leg. When he dove into the water, he went in feet first, which caused some inflammation. That would subside in a short time. His father, Josh, would unfortunately take longer to recover. For some time, Josh Williams was stuck in a wheelchair. 
The good news, however, was that this accident would not affect his life in the future. Although he took a great deal of time to feel his arms and legs, he recovered quickly. Audrey Williams was especially grateful and proud of Isaiah. I'm so grateful that Isaiah was there for him because if he wasn't there, my husband probably wouldn't be here today, she said. He's daddy's hero, that's for sure. She never imagined a kid could do so much for others.